the world of football, there's a manager who has taken a game by storm. His name? Addy Hutter. He's brought us a breathtaking 3-4-2-1 featuring some of the most progressive fullbacks I have ever seen. With Monaco, we tore through the French League, dominating giants like Lyon, demolishing Lille, and even stunning PSG. And against all odds, we managed to win the French League title by two points. But the success didn't stop there. In Austria, they stormed the league, going invincible and securing the Yannicka OFB Cup. And lastly, we took their magic to Switzerland, winning the league and conquering the Schweizer Cup with an incredible 97% win rate. And today we are now going to break down his tactics inside of FM23. I want to quickly say this is the perfect time to leave a like on the video and help the channel grow. And if you do enjoy the tactics, that would mean a lot to me. I also want to quickly thank all of the wonderful names coming on the stream right now. These are going to be new or existing patreon members if you want to become a patreon and join over the 185 people we currently have you can do so by joining it by clicking the link in the description where you get access to all three of these wonderful tactics you get early video and tactical release priority in your tactic and rebuild requests one-on-one -on -one tactical help and obviously you're going to be included in that exclusive patreon fm24 giveaway so definitely check it out but let's turn our attention to addy hutter's masterclass now it took me a long time to get this video done i do apologize that is purely because I had to do a lot of research in how he does play, and I feel like I've replicated it very well. Now, some things are going to change in this, so don't feel like this is going to be the completed project, but please do stick around and see how it changes, because I like to explain exactly what the thought process is behind. But kicking things off, a sweeper keeper is going to be simply on the supportive instruction, nice and easy to follow, nothing too special. The back line is going to change a little bit, because on this right-hand side, it is going to be a ball-playing defender, but we're actually going to opt to have a stopper and we are also going to do that on the left hand side and that makes the back three the three center backs two stoppers and one that sits a little bit deeper and that's a very common thing to see in his system two of the center backs are a little bit more aggressive stopping as it says on the tin, and one that is going to sit a little bit behind. Now, you could even, if you really wanted to, have this ball-playing defender on cover, but in my opinion, from playing the game and actually seeing it, it doesn't really work too well. So that's exactly why we've got him just on the default basic instruction, and it works really, really well. Now, of course, as I mentioned in the intro, the fullbacks are literally the most important part of this team, in my opinion. They are so influential. I cannot stress this enough. So they're not going to be complete wing backs. They, of course, are going to be, we'll change it now, they are going to be wing backs, both simply on attack. And their instructions are going to be cross more often and also stay wider so let's change it on this one as well there we go that is going to make up your back five now these wing backs guys they are going to get involved massively they really are, they, they just it's what they do in the team and to be honest they're that attacking on the default variant we're not even going to ask them to overlap because as you're going to see in the highlights they get so much further forward anyway it's literally not needed we're going to see here one example look how far up we are going to see Enrique on the left hand side who's going to take a touch and absolutely pile drive a ball in what an assist and we're going to see it here again Salisu into Kamara into an overlapping Enrique who's going to take his time ball in the middle into Ambolo these fullbacks are mental so yeah I really cannot stress enough how influential these fullbacks are but moving up the field to this centre mid we are going to have a central midfield player on support on more direct passes and tackle harder now next to him it's not going to be a Metzala I want it to have a role which does a little bit of both and as you know I'm a big fan of the role that is going to be a box-to-box -box midfielder simply on the default instruction now the great thing about this is he is going to get involved in the attack and play but also he is going to track back and defend literally the ideal role to have in this 3-4-2-1 system a shadow striker is going to be next in the equation obviously that is going to be Golovin in this team a very very good player Roman from the position getting in all sorts of dangerous areas being an absolute nightmare for the opposition to deal with and he does it so well now up top we are going to have the complete forward on support on run wide and stay wider and also the advanced forward on roam from position very influential we have these roles on because this means we're going to have one advanced forward that is going to be roaming about but is more or less going to be in a centralized area and one which is going to be out wide causing all sorts of issue linking up the play with this box to box and this wing back he's going to be sort of in this position here meaning that you're obviously going to have a wonderful sort of triangle shape forming on this right hand side of the field which is exactly what we want to be 
achieving. So now over to them team instructions. It is going to be based of a positive mentality, by the way, and it was originally made off a clean slate. Just to give you guys the heads up, very important. Obviously, we opt for this fairly wide playing style because we are trying to get as much width in this three at the back system as possible. Playing out from the back is going to be a key part of this system as well. Obviously, we are going to be featuring three ball playing defenders, so it is fairly common sense, but obviously that is now going to be put into play. In terms of the tempo, we're going to have slightly higher. Now, you can max this all the way out, but from seeing what I've seen from Monaco, they're not always the most aggressive team, so I've simply gone with one up from the default in the middle. Of course, because of how influential the fullbacks are, we are going to opt to have whips crosses and hit early crosses into the box. You saw just from them two highlights alone, them two assists from Enrique, it works so well. So the better fullbacks you have in terms of crossing, you are going to be absolutely laughing. And alongside of this, of course, we're going to have the creative freedom set to be more expressive. Transition, there are going to be four examples of what we're going to be doing, and that is going to be the counter-pressing style. Very, very, very crucial in this system. You can see here, obviously, where the players are going to be pressing, what sort of areas they're going to be covering. And we did, we were one of the best teams at winning the ball back in the league. So very, very good to see that actually paying off. And when we've got the ball, of course, we've got a counter-attack. And when you guys download this tactic and give it a go, just let me know what you think of the fullbacks because I know I've talked about them a lot, but I have never seen a tactic that gets the most out of wingbacks quite like this one. And when it comes to distributing, we're going to distribute to the centre backs while taking short goal kicks. And now over to the out of possession tab. These are going to be the team instructions that did obviously get me results like this. You can see the data hub right now, 3.53 goals per game, conceded at 0.76 over 24 shots a game and a pass completion of 86.14. So we really did achieve using this. And to get like that, we of course are going to have this high press line of engagement, the higher, def oh, hang on, the higher defensive line, nearly misclicked. We're going to max out the trigger press too much more often. And we are also going to click prevent short goalkeeper distribution. So a very aggressive tactic in the out of possession tab. But as you saw, we didn't concede too many goals and we scored over three and a half, which I actually deployed in this 5-0 win in this cup final here. And as you can see, we absolutely thumped this team. And this tactic is just wild, guys. It really is. You can see how well it is at linking up the play and using wide areas. And that striker there, what a player he is. Absolutely sensational player for Salzburg. And at no point in this game did we struggle. We stuck with the attack and tactic throughout the whole game. And this is the perfect example of when you should be using this tactic against a team which you should comfortably be beating or against a team where you're sort of a goal down and you're chasing. But you can see here how easy it is to get in behind teams like this when you are playing this attack and ball after ball. They can't get rid of it. We go again on the right-hand side and absolutely obliterate them. And it is going to look a lot like this. So as you can see, there aren't going to be too many changes in terms of the player instructions, purely because it already is quite an attack and tactic. So you are going to see the goalkeeper. All of the centre-backs are going to remain the same. In fact, even the wing-backs are going to remain the same, purely because they are naturally quite attacking. In the midfield, the central midfield player does remain exactly the same also, but the box-to-box -box has two instructions now get further forwards and also move into channels obviously just getting that box to box a little bit more attack and minded which of course is what we're trying to do in an attacking tactic the shadow striker also is going to come into play and stay on that run from position and purely because it does score more goals inside of fm i have gone with two advanced forwards up top on the right hand side a run from position exactly the same as what the CF was in the sort of default variant. And on the left-hand side, another advanced forward who is also now going to be just on the roam from position. So we've gone for a more narrow approach in the attack and variant. And yeah, it does get goals. In terms of in possession, of course, the mentality is going to go from positive to attacking. And in terms of the additional instructions on here, we are now going to overlap left and overlap right, meaning these wing backs are essentially going to be acting like wingers. They really, really are. We also have maxed out the tempo to higher, obviously get a little bit more urgency into the game. And alongside of this, we have now got run at defense. Transition, a couple of changes do come in. Obviously, we're going to be distributing the ball very quickly. And I've actually decided to distribute over the opposition defense. And that is because these two advanced forwards are going to try and get in behind. And we did score a few goals from long goal kicks. In terms of the out of possession, there's only so much we can really tweak because, again, it's already got that higher defensive line. So that remains exactly the same. But of course, we are going to max out that trigger press. We're still going to have a lot of pressure on the goalkeeper. And the real big thing, we are 
are now going to be getting stuck in. Now over to the defensive variant. This tactic I did use in that 3-2 PSG game. So it is a very good tactic to go in against the top, top teams in your relevant division. The goalkeeper remains the same. All the ball playing defenders remain untouched. But the big difference is going to be the wing back on the left and also the right are now going to be on support simply on stay wider. No additional instructions required. The midfield also sees one big change. A ball winning midfielder comes in on defend to really protect that back three or back five, should I say. But we'll say back three because the wing backs still are going to get involved going up the field. And this is a really good role to protect that back three. In terms of next to him, we are going to have a box to box midfield player. Again, very important. I've still got someone in the team that prank just pretty much can progress at a Attack, although he's not going to be as attacking as you can see by the default instructions he still has a little bit of a license to roam and actually you know get involved if required on a counter attack going forwards we've got we sort of scrapped the shadow striker because the attacker midfield player in my opinion is a little bit deeper he is actually going to be a little bit you know less attack and minders as we do actually have him on shoot less often and cross less often so a very sort of restricted am if you want to say it like that and just a player to help link up the three play the ball between these two midfield players as well and obviously create two the two players up top which is now going to consist of a complete forward on run wide and stay wider and the advanced forward on attack on roam from position in terms of the team instructions we're going to go back to that positive mentality so this tactic although defensive still can pack a punch we scored three goals playing like this against psg so you still can score plenty of goals with a defensive minded team we're still going to have fairly wide on we're going to play out from the back we've got slightly shorter on the passing directness we've got a slightly higher tempo still time wasting it's a little bit scummy but it's going to be set to frequently we're going to have whipped crosses and hit early crosses obviously the DNA of Monaco. In transition, there are going to be a couple of changes compared to the attacking variant. We're going to slow the pace all the way down, distribute into the centre backs while taking short goal kicks. Now, the real big change and probably why this tactic is a lot more defensively solid is going to be this standard line does come in alongside of the mid block engagement. And it works really well, sort of restricting what the top teams can do against you in terms of the fact you're never really vulnerable and you can always counter attack and go and nab a goal. So it is a very good way against playing these real, real top stutter teams. In terms of the trigger press, it's going to be set to more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution and that is going to give you guys three of the finest Addy Hutter's tactics obviously absolutely doing a sensational job in Monaco it seems and I'm buzzing to hear what you guys think in the comments if you have enjoyed today's tactics videos videos video please do leave a like on it be sure to drop a comment on any future tactics or rebuilds you want to see and I do want to quickly say guys we're going to be going live again and it's going to be on YouTube so please anyone that watches this have the notifications turned on because we're going to be going live Thursday with a rebuild. I'm not going to tell you what team it is, but hopefully I see you boys there. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.